the Planet X. Ladies and gentlemen, there is overwhelming evidence for a Mars-sized planet within a 60 astronomical unit range. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear Leak Project, how the heck are you? Let me read this quick excerpt from ScienceDaily.com. Astronomers Catherine Volk and Renu Maholtra from the University of Arizona have found that the plane on which these Kuiper Belt objects orbit the Sun is slightly warped, a fact that could be explained if there is a perturber of the size of Mars at 60 astronomical units from the Sun. Now, that isn't much further out than Pluto, ladies and gentlemen, and if we scroll down just a little bit, let me read some more of this to you. We are convinced that Volk and Maholtra's work has found solid evidence of the presence of a massive body beyond the so-called Kuiper Cliff, the furthest point of the trans-Neptunian belt at some 50 astronomical units from the Sun, and we would hope to be able to present soon a new work which also supports its existence. Now, this could be the same planet that was discovered in the early 80s and then hushed up shortly after that information was released via mainstream news. This is the article, ScienceDaily.com. Planet 9 hypothesis supported by new evidence. So not only are they saying there's an enormous planet about 300 to 400 times the distance of the Earth slash Sun separation, so that would be 300 to 400 astronomical units, and this thing is huge. Yet what they do is they hide in the article at the very bottom the discovery of Planet X, the Planet X. Now, I think this is incredible, and this could explain much of the phenomena like they're describing here with these trans objects and their orbits. If you want to look at the area, you know, just to put into perspective, Neptune is about 29 astronomical units from the Sun. Pluto is about 40. So this thing isn't much further out than Pluto, and they say that it might not be a planet because there could be a swath of objects surrounding it, large asteroids, etc. I think that's very interesting. Now, if you go to the Planet 9 graph here, and if you look at the comparison charts here, this thing is massive. Mars is a little bit smaller than Earth, so this Planet X that's been discovered... Now, they're also saying this Planet X would correlate with the Planet 9 hypothesis, so they work in conjunction together. You know, Planet 9 is way out. It's outside of the termination shock zone there. It's past the Viking 1 orbiter, which they recently launched its thrusters again, according to an article on NASA. Now, I know how much many of you believe what they say because you always get a straight answer from those guys. But to put into perspective the distance of Planet X, well, this Viking orbiter is about 140 astronomical units from the sun, so it's far beyond Planet X, the discovery of Planet X here. So we'll look at the comparison again. Just relax. And take a look at it. And become a premium member at leakproject.com. You'll get access to over 1,400 podcasts, downloadable, streamable, ad-free, plus over 100 podcasts exclusive to leakproject.com. We also have a new forums, .leakproject.com. It's absolutely free to leave posts on the forum. Make your voice heard on text, via text. Okay, that's my shameless plug. Back to you. See, so take a look at these trans-Neptunian objects. You can see right here the orbits of some of these things, and then Planet 9 going the opposite direction, and there's several variables that is now pointing to a massive... I mean, look at all these planets. They're planets. They have different titles. You know, they've got serial numbers like a, a new seven-channel digital receiver that you're going to hook up for surround sound. But they're discovering new planets every single day. And I think this is incredible. And a planet that's about the size of Mars at a distance not much further from Pluto, I think that changes the game. I mean, we'll look at Neptune here. Neptune's about 30 astronomical units from the Sun. The Kuiper Belt here. Check this out. Here's another very interesting discovery that I found. 
a binary object orbiting outside of Pluto, outside of Neptune, a binary system. And you can see the images right there. Now, here's another very interesting chart that I found that shows a brown dwarf star when it's at perihelion. I think I said that right. Perihelion. <laughs> perihelion. Nanny, nanny, nanny. Asteroid belt. You can see outside of the sun there. The Oort cloud. You can see this brown dwarf that they're estimating when it's at perihelion to our sun, at the closest distance to our sun, it's about 60 astronomical units. But then it'll go out over 55,000 astronomical units. So where is it located right now? That's what I'd like to know. And I'm going to leave the links to all this in the video description box. Pluto, once again, Pluto is not much closer to the sun than planet X. What do you think about that? Aphelion. There we go. Aphelion. I even, see, I even listened to this beforehand. Nanu, Nanu. The Voyager 1, you can see right here. We just look at it. We look at this cartoon art that people like to call it. Now, I certainly believe in satellites. I think Voyager's out there. The question is, what are they really getting back from this bad boy? Being 140 astronomical units from the sun, this thing is out there. It was launched in 77. 13 billion miles away from the sun. Now, once again, astronomical unit. If you're looking at Neptune, it's about 30 astronomical units. And thank you for being here, ladies and gentlemen. I also want to show you the new forums section at Leak Project. So much information at leakproject.com. There's so many podcasts that I think that if you go through some of the archives, there's some gems that you might have missed previously. So you can see this is the forum section. We've got a whole bunch of different topics that you can share your interests and likes and opinions on. I have been also putting together blogs on here as well, linking them to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash clandestine time lord. You'll see stuff on Planet X, new, a different podcast, X file stuff, Sumerian tablets, the medical mafia industrial complex, various pantheons of different gods throughout different cultures and demons demons and angels and spirits and then the general discussion here a whole bunch of just different topics on here as well and some people are really enjoying this they're putting all sorts of stuff on these forums so check it out forums.leakproject.com also subscribe to youtube.com slash clandestine time lord if you haven't already hit the like button hit the share button thank you for being here and later, I'm going to share an article with you about how biohackers are now going to be threatened by the FDA. People that are attempting to change the makeup and biology of their bodies, a.k.a. biohacking. I don't know if you've heard of it or not, but very interesting. People are actually doing stuff live now where they'll have a particular video that they'll do on Facebook or something like that. But here is the website. If you haven't checked out the website at leakproject.com yet, as you can see, we broke the 170,000 subscriber mark. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for subscribing, breaking 170,000 subscribers. That is awesome. I mean, you can just see tons and tons of podcasts here. And then you can also send us an email, leakproject at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook. You can see over 115 pages of podcasts. So guests page right here. I've interviewed guests from all around the world, various topics, and I'm going to start interviewing more guests here shortly once I get my studio set up. You can see here various pages of guests as well. You know, we've had people like Cliff High on the show, really nice guy. I'm going to get him on again soon. Uh, Bob Mitchell before he passed, bless your soul, Mr. Mitchell. Brad Olson, really nice guy. Just some great people. Ah, you remember Chris? <laughs> Jeffrey Darty, the Christian whistleblower. So, Danny Cock, that guy is an incredible musician. Some of his art, some of his work has been featured in literally some of the biggest blockbuster movies around the world. The Daz Smith, really nice guy, remote viewer, Clint Richardson. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. Anthony Peake, real nice guy. Anthony Carr, 
Andreas, Andrea Vitimus. I'm sure you remember Bob Evans, Bob Fletcher, Andrew Craig, just tons of guests. Make sure leakproject.com. Be excellent to each other, ladies and gentlemen, and be the change you want to see.